Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you that how you can perform multiple sequence alignment by using cluster Omega. So for performing multiple sequence alignment, just open your browser and search for cluster Omega. So as it is in the suggestion, so I'm just picking it directly. Now this website, this is www.ebi.ac.uk tools cluster Omega. So this is the official website of the cluster Omega. EBA stands for the European Bioinformatic Institute. So just click on this website and now the website is just open. This is the home page of Cluster Omega software. Now for multiple sequence alignment, you will need sequences and for multiple alignment, you need more than two sequences. So just for demo purpose, I have already downloaded the sequence from NCBI. So these are the sequences which I've downloaded from NCBI and how to download the sequence from NCBI. So I have a separate video on that. The link will be in the description. So now just I'm going to show you that how you can perform the multiple alignment of these sequences. So just copy these sequences and move back to Omega. Now here, first option is enter or paste a set of either protein, DNA or RNA means it is asking that the sequences you are going to use are they of protein sequence, DNA sequences or RNA sequence. So as I choose the DNA sequences, so I'm just clicking for the DNA and now just paste your sequences here. The next option is that you can choose the output format. So if you click here, so there are many options like cluster W, Pearson, FASTA. So you can choose either of them according to your need. I'm just choosing first one that is cluster W with character counts. Now there are some other options. These are under the more option button, but these above options are sufficient for most of the user as they are itself saying. So you may check these option, but I'm just going to perform with this by default options. So now just click on this submit button. And there's a one more point that this box, if you tick or check this box on so the result information will be emailed to you. So it's up to you. You may, you may either check it or just keep it as it is. So just click the submit button. As you click the submit button, so now your sequences are under process. As you can see the, you can say statement here, your job is currently running. Please be patient. Means now this software is performing the multiple sequence alignment of your sequences. So the time taken is generally depend upon the how much sequences you are uh, using for the multiple sequence alignment and how long these are. So as you now can see that the results are just in front of us. So this is the multiple sequence alignment performed by this cluster Omega. So here these are certain options like first option is alignment. So if you click here, it is already clicked. So it is now showing the alignment. So this is the software that is cluster Ohm is cluster Omega and it is performing the multiple sequence alignment. So these are your sequences. So I just taken five sequences, one, two, three, four, and five. These are the accession number like this one. This is, these are the accession number of your sequences we, which you just have taken. And these are the sequences like this is the sequence of, you can say nucleotide sequence of the first sequence and this is the second sequence. And now these are aligned like you can see these are aligned and how to read this data. So here, these dashes just for you I'm just uh, zooming it like this now it is clearly visible to you so these dashes they represent that there is not any base found by the software in corresponding to these bases and here these stars these star represent the conserved sequence or consensus sequence means if you clearly notice that there is a T in all of these five sequences just i am highlighting this t so now you can see that the t is in high uh, all these five sequences similarly g is also present in all of the five sequences another g is also present in the all of five sequences so it means these stars so these stars they denote that sequence which is present in all of the sequences which you just given for the multiple sequence alignment and here this portion where the star is not there. So in this, you will found that either one or two or more nucleotides are different. Means they are not present in all sequences like 
for example in this case you can notice that in the first sequence there is g in the second again g third g fourth g but in the fifth sequence c is there so it is not a conserved sequence it has c in the fifth sequence so that's why star is not there so this is the length of you can say the uh, sequence like first it is checking the first 51 bases then after that next 211 and so on so by this you can see it gives you a multiple sequence alignment and again i am telling that these dashes they represent that the there is not any bases present in the fifth sequence which is corresponding to these bases so by this you can see you can scroll down and there are lots of data because you have taken the five sequences so that's why it is giving the all possible combination of alignment between them like first it will align first with second then first with third sequence then first with fourth and so on so that's why a huge data is here so now again zooming for you so now it is much more clear so this is the alignment sequence now let's move to these options which are just above like these options this result summary if you click here that is result summary so if you click here it will show you the summary of all these result like this is the input sequence if you click here it will bring you to the page which show you the these are the input sequence which these are those sequences which we just gave to the software for the multiple sequence alignment so these are those sequence means these sequence which we just copied and paste means input sequence so these are the those sequence similarly this is the output if you click here so it will show you the output sequences in the alignment tab it will show you the alignment as i uh, as i told you that this is the alignment sequence so by clicking alignment tab you will move back to alignment here phylogenetic tree so if you click here so you will see the phylogenetic tree also next is phylogenetic tree so if you click this tab like this phylogenetic tab is also there so if you click here so it will show you the phylogenetic tree of these sequences also like you can see this is the phylogenetic tree that is cladogram gram and these are the five sequences and accession number of these like accession number of sequence first sequence second and so on so by this by clicking this phylogenetic tree you can also see the phylogenetic tree i am again coming back to the alignment so this is if you want to see the alignment again then click on the alignment and here you again come back to the alignment page this option is download alignment file means if you click here so this alignment will be downloaded to your system so in this way you can use the cluster omega for multiple sequencing and as well as for phylogenetic tree